with 7 Ace Restoration here and today I'm going to be talking about the biggest issue I hear people having with their 1950s and early 60s Johnson outboards and Evernery too obviously and that issue is not getting fuel. I sell these things all the time and I'll sell them running and the first thing someone will say to me is I put it on my tank and now it won't run and uh, first thing I ask is do you have a pressure tank or do you have a standard tank and often the answer is what's a pressure tank. So that's what this video is about. So this here is a Johnson pressurized fuel tank from the 1950s. It's got two lines going into it. It's got no vent and it's got a little pump right here. This here is just a standard gas tank, nothing special, nothing in it, just an empty tank. This one, the way it works is these motors didn't have fuel pumps on them. They, uh, the 50s, the, the late 40s and early 50s is when they started doing the separate fuel tank so that they could get more fuel into the motor and let you go farther. But they couldn't get a fuel pump into that motor so what they did is they made a pressurized fuel tank. So you tighten that down, you pump this little button here, if it makes that sound you know it's working, and uh, that pumps fuel directly into the motor. Once the motor's running the vacuum pressure from the engine will actually suck fuel from the tank so you don't have to keep pumping it. These typically pump themselves up to about four to six PSI. And this one hasn't been doing it lately, but they should give you a satisfying hiss when you open that. This one definitely needs a rebuild. And that's another one people get confused by when I say I'm rebuilding my gas tank. This, uh, this isn't as simple as it seems. You take these eight screws out and there's a lot of parts and pieces in there that work to pressurize this tank. And, uh, in the early 60s, Johnson decided they were done with that and they started putting fuel pumps on the motors instead and then just using a standard tank. But for these ones, you still have to use the pressure tank or you can go on eBay and get a fuel pump conversion kit. I'll be doing a video on how to rebuild these tanks and I'll be doing a video on how to convert one of these to pump from a regular tank. So you can have it both ways. I honestly kind of prefer the pressure tank just because I think it's cooler and a little more vintage. But if you're using one of these to actually get around, you're gonna want a uh, you want a fuel pump on the engine. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching.